Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up, and I'm coming to you live from my back porch, which I think I just tried 10 different areas in my house for lighting, um, <laughs> and I felt like none of the lighting was good, so hopefully this is like you could see me and everything. So anyway, um, today I am talking about what is your ideal fitness, or what is it that you think being fit means? So. If you are new here, my name is Nicole Simonin and I am the owner of Shape It Up Fitness and I help successful business women over 40 get fit without crazy diets and without insane workouts. If you're interested in go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com/call C A L L. So today my kids and I, I have a son and a daughter, um, 12 and 14 hard to believe, but we went out to um, Barnes and Noble because we have to get some summer reading done. Yes, it is July and we're just now focusing on summer reading, but it's better than August, I guess. So um, while we were there though, I was looking at some of the different magazines that they have in there. And I do read some of the magazines like Oxygen Strong, um, you know, those kind of magazines, but when I went in there and I was looking, I was kind of looking from a different perspective. And um, I noticed that every single one of the people on the front of the magazine, they all have very similar fitness looks, right? Which is totally fine. But I feel like, quote unquote, the average woman, when we look at those, and I know you've heard this like um, body shaming type thing, but when we look at those, they may be unrealistic expectations for what you can get to and maintain it. It's not that you can't get there, but sometimes to maintain that, you may have to give up a lot of things that you are not willing to give up. Um, so I think fitness comes in many different forms. And I think when, as women, we look at these magazines and we see this person on the front and they look fabulous, of course, we don't take in consideration what else is going on there. So that person, believe it or not, in the fitness industry, there are a lot of people with eating disorders. Um, there are a lot of people who are taking different types of drugs to get that look, um, whether it be hormone replacements. Um, some people get implants. And I'm not saying, obviously, eating disorders I'm not <laughs> subscribed to at all. And do I think you should be taking drugs to look better? No. Um, to each his own, as far as plastic surgery, I mean, that I think if you can fix it, through diet and exercise, I would go that route. Um, but you know, there are some people who are very large chested and they lose weight and now their back is killing them because, you know, they have this extra weight on them. So I think surgery is a kind of an option, but we're getting off topic. So, <laughs> um, but when we look at those magazines, a lot of times I think people think, oh, well, that's how I should look. And I think fitness comes in different packages and different people and we're not all the same. So why should we all look like that. I think it comes down to fitness in my definition is how healthy you are. There are women who would be classified as overweight who are technically healthy um, by medical standards. And I think that's really the bottom line. Now, don't get me wrong. If you are interested in vanity aspects, go for it. I am not opposed to it as long as it's done in a healthy manner. Uh, keep in mind too that when we're looking at a lot of those magazines, a lot of those women are airbrushed. Um, they, I have actually talked to a lady who was a model and she was over, she's over 40 and she's a model. And one of the magazines, she's done a couple different magazines, but one of the magazines, um, they said they weren't going to touch up, which I thought was awesome. But a lot of the other ones, they were like, Oh, don't worry. We'll airbrush whatever out. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of very deceptive, you know, to society as we're watching, you know, and looking at these magazines, we don't really know what's all involved and, and what's really going on because maybe the person that you're looking at on that magazine, they might have an eating disorder. I, I wouldn't want that in order to look like that, you know, that certain image. Um, so I would like to ask you, what do you think being fit means? And you are welcome to put that in the comment section below. I would love to see, you know, what you guys, what your take is on it. Um, you know, does it mean that you have no cellulite? Does it mean that you have a six pack of abs? Um, 
most of my clients that come to me, what they say is they just want to be healthy. They want to be strong. So they want to be able to keep up with their kids when they're running or playing. They want to be able to lift things up without hurting their back. They want to age and not have people, you know, being dependent on other people. They want to be able to open up their own jars of cans, or not cans, uh, their own jars of food later on in life without having help. Um, I think that is one of my motivational parts about trying to stay fit because me personally, I'm, you know, I'm teetering over onto the other side of mid forties coming soon. I don't want to be 90 and having someone have to wipe my tushy, you know, or like wipe the drool off my face, that kind of thing. I want to be able to be 90 and be functional and be able to live independently if I so choose. Granted, if you have an illness or something later on, I mean, that's a different story, but you got to start today, no matter what age you are, you have to start getting stronger. And I think, you know, we're starting to turn that tide where, um, it's okay as a woman to be physically strong and ladies do not be afraid of the dumbbells. Those little five pounder dumbbells are not going to get you very, they're not going to tone you the way you think that you're going to get toned. Um, but you do need strength. So I've kind of gone off on a couple of different tangents, but um, I would love to know what your idea of being fit is. So please put it in the comment section. Um, if you're watching this live, thank you. I see a couple people on. Um, and if you're watching this on the rebroadcast, you know, feel free to comment because I do go back into the videos and I do respond to comments. Um, all right. So that is the video for today. I would love to hear from you. And if you are serious about getting fit and don't want any crazy diets and you don't want insane workouts and you want to be fit, whatever your definition of fit is, and you want to be in shape and you want to be in better health, head over to shapeitupfitness.com. I am taking consults. I only do a couple during the week and I would love to talk to you. All right. So I will talk to you soon. Keep an eye out for the next Shape It Up video. Remember to get fit. Be fierce and have no limits. All right. Take care. I'll see you later.